In this study, They talked about how we think so much about coping related to negative situations, right? Like how do you cope with depressive feelings? How do you cope with feelings of anxiety? Mm. And so they really wanted to highlight, like, what does it look like when we use coping strategies to focus on increasing those positive feelings or affective states like gratitude? So some of the others they suggest are just trying, you know, to notice positive events of something exciting happening in the family, big or small. They talked about savoring, you know, so again, just being able to kind of along the lines of being mindful, like take in those moments that might feel really small, but actually are quite big to to sustain you. So I have three boys, they wrestle a lot. There is a lot of fighting and physical activity, you know, that sometimes starts out really fun and then turns into fighting. But so those moments that I sort of just look up and I'm about to sort of holler at somebody to get off of somebody else. And they actually, they aren't fighting. They're, they're laughing and and rolling around in pure joy rather than what I sometimes assume might be a negative interaction. So just being mindful and like taking that in, like, that's awesome. You know, that they were laughing together like that. Acts of kindness. They talk about, you know, trying to notice those that's a way to really focus on positive coping. Um, And one of the ones I think you and I have emphasized in this work a ton is this idea of self-compassion or giving yourself Mm -hmm. grace, Mm -hmm. how important that is to really, you know, increase positive coping instead of always focusing on, you know, coping with the negative thing. 